coming to you from the 710 ESPN Sports Cave today. It's yeah. a, little, a little dark. Uh, but, uh, well, how am I going to transition to Kyle Seeger off that? Because I was going to say, he's been the bright light for the Mariners. He really is. We could use him here right now because he's been very bright. He, he kind of has. 283, four home runs. He's on pace to, to do more than what he did last year. And last year was, uh, was a breakout season, but I think it was also just a season that people were like, well... That was a nice year. Like to see him do that again. He's not necessarily a guy they had that much that much wrapped up in. You didn't right. think. You still thought the the key guys, the guys were Ackley, Montero, et cetera, et cetera. Yet the way Kyle Seeger's gone here in the second half. By the way, we had a great conversation with him. You can check it out on the Bob and Gross, the podcast page. Um, he really is living up to what he did last year and has, has in fact raised his game. One of the few Mariners offensively you have this year. Yeah, I mean, the beauty of last year is he was a surprise. He came in with no expectations. He's playing a new position, third base. He's naturally a second baseman. Uh, 20 home runs, didn't hit for the average he wanted to, and he's hitting for a better average this year. And what I love is what we, again, talked to him about today, if you listen to it, is what he's done, especially in the last three games. He's walked five times. Mm -hmm. This is a guy who has had a lot of success so far this year at the plate. He's hit for a little bit of power. He's hit doubles. He's kind of done it all, but yet he's, he's showing patience up there despite that success of feeling like, I got to come through with a hit. I got to come through with a hit. You know, walking five times in the last three games, kind of echoing or kind of setting the tone for what Eric Wedge said was, you know what, some of these guys need to put the bat down every once in a while and let the guy behind you do something. And he's he's been a perfect example of that. Plus, on top of all that, yeah, I don't think he's got enough credit for what he's been in the field, which has been absolutely stellar. No question. And think about it. Eric Wedge, uh, a couple games back, put him in the third spot in the lineup. That's where you put your best hitter. And he didn't do that temporarily. I mean, no. you know, you get the feeling that that's where Kyle Seager, if he keeps going the way he's going, is going to remain. And you made a great point, too, about third base. You tend not to even think about that anymore with him, that yeah. he really is a natural second baseman who made that transition last year. He looks terrific at third. Yeah, he, he's been, there's nothing you could point to with him and say, boy, I wish he would do this better or that better. You want to see after last year, you want to see a raise in the average. And so far, he's given it to you. I think it's going to end up better than even what it is right now, which is in the 280 range. I, I just think he's a surprise star on this team. The Mariners bright light, like my shirt, but not like those lights.